Hey home bakers, it's Jack here, bakerwithjack.co.uk, bringing you your weekly bread making tip every single Thursday. And everybody says that salt kills yeast, but is that the truth? Let's put it to the test and find out. Roll it! Hey you guys, welcome back, welcome back for another bread making tip of the week. And if you're new here, I upload a video every single Thursday, a little bit of something interesting relating to your bread making at home. If you don't wanna miss it, have a think about clicking that subscribe button and I'll see you here next week. So let's get on with it, shall we? This week I wanna explore something that's written into bread making recipes, it's in books. Even I tell people in my classes, keep the salt away from the yeast because salt kills yeast. Sometimes we're told to put the salt in one side of the bowl and the yeast in the other side of the bowl. It all gets mixed up in the end. Anyway, so how necessary is it? Does it really make that much of a difference or is it just one of those things we habitually do because that's what we're told? This is what we're going to find out in today's bread making tip video. Let's get on with it. Okay, cut to camera two in the Bake With Jack Studio kitchens and this in here I've got is fresh yeast. It's already weighed and ready to go. And I've got everything here for standard white loaf of bread, flour, salt, water. Now I'm gonna put the salt straight in to the yeast. I already know what happens, but I don't know if it has an effect on the dough. Here it goes, I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna squeeze this all up. And you see how it starts off like crumbly, crumbly yeast, yeah? Like normal. And as we mix it into the salt, we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens. If you haven't seen this before, it's quite shocking. And it does break my heart a little bit. Right, it's beginning to get sticky now. It's beginning to get sticky, look, see? And then, all of a sudden, liquid. It just turns to liquid. Which is pretty cool and pretty gross at the same time, right? So now, I'm just gonna dip my fingers in here to wash off the rest of that yeasty, salty water. And then, that can go in. I'll put that in next, because it makes sense to do it that way. There we go, just blend it. Mix it up, and then in goes my flour. Now, let's go for it, shall we? Let's just mix it up really fast. Knead the dough as normal. I'll speed this a bit up, and then we'll see what happens after. Go. Okay, all worked, all needed nicely, and so far I can't really see uh, a difference with this one, so I'm gonna just shape it into a quick ball, put it into the bowl, and let it prove up. There we go, ball, in there. So that's the one without yeast, or yeah, I mean it has got yeast in it, but we tried to kill it with a bit of salt, so we'll see how that gets on. Here, I've got a control dough because I'm a scientist. See, let's make these things accurate. I'm giving them both a little dust of flour, and then what I'm gonna do is move this camera and try and set it up so we can have a little time-lapse thing going on to see which one puffs. Or maybe they'll both puff. Let's find out. So there you have it, that was Yesterday, by the way, that's how come my hair's different now. Um, it puffed up. It puffed up. It puffed up, right? It didn't puff up as much as the other one, but to be fair, uh, I did do that one slightly earlier. So I was already had a little bit of puff going on, probably had a little bit of a head start, but the main thing is it puffed up, and that was really surprising to me. I didn't think that would happen, so what I then did, I took it even further and made it into a loaf of bread because I thought, okay, maybe it puffed up the first time, maybe over time it'll start dying off or slowing down or something like that, but actually, this is the loaf, let me get them the right way around, that I made out of the one uh, that I effectively thought I'd killed with the salt. That's the loaf that I made out of that one, and here's the loaf I made out of the other one, really. Pretty similar, <laughs> but 
pretty similar, I'd say. It's a success nonetheless. Uh, let's cut it open, see what's going on inside, shall we? Okay, here's the crumb. Look at that. Absolutely nothing wrong with it at all. Just shows, it's just another thing that we don't need to worry about. I thought I was pretty brutal rubbing that salt into the yeast, but as it turns out, uh, the loaf came out really well, so it's not really a big deal. I wonder if there's one more thing. I wonder if I had left it in there for a while, the salt and the yeast in that little brown puddle, I wonder if then it might have killed it off a little bit further. I don't really know, but I don't think anybody would probably do that sort of thing by accident. So there you go, yet another worry that is no longer a worry. Maybe salt does kill yeast in the end, but certainly in this experiment, really didn't have much of a difference. I hope this video has helped you out on your quest to make amazing bread at home. Another thing crossed off the list that you don't need to worry about. Thank you very much for coming here every single week. I really appreciate it. Please join the conversation in the comments box. Click like if you liked it, and if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. And you know what's a pretty powerful thing? If you've got friends that are making bread, if you've got pals, share it out to them. Share it out, they might enjoy what I do. That'd be lovely. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.